Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Uh, hey, now this one, Mike, this uh, came up. I, I don't know if you know this. I'm now a contributing editor to CFO.com. I write a, uh, a spreadsheet column for them every week. And a few weeks ago, a reader named John wrote in and said, Hey, I want to make a chart where the positive columns show up as green and the negative columns show up as red, like this one. And so, I fired up Excel 2010. I said, all right, let's see if we can do this. We'll create a little chart here. So insert column, column chart, we have our chart. And you see we have some numbers that are positive, some numbers are negative. And I said, I bet this is going to be pretty easy to do. I went into format those, control one. And here on the fill, we choose solid fill uh, and say invert if negative and check that out in Excel 2010. We get two drop downs. Choose green for the first one, red for the second one. Click close and we're done. It was beautiful. I wrote the article, sent it in. I never bothered to tech, check it in Excel 2007. In Excel 2007, you don't get that drop down. Oh, no. So I said, all right, well, I know that I've done this before. And let's even talk about a situation where the breaking point is not at zero. What if you're in Excel 2010 and you want to break everything uh, at a different spot, like here, this quality rating, anything above? I think it was 95 uh, is in green and anything below 95 is in red or maybe it's 97 or something like that. All right, so how would you do that in Excel 2007 or earlier? And here's the way that I did is I created a secret series, actually two secret series. So I took this data here and I created the uh, good series and the bad series. I said equal if this number up here, let's use 97, is greater than or equal to 0.97, then I want that number. Otherwise, I want a function called NA, the NA function. Copy that across and then down here I said equal if that number up there is less than 0.97, then I want that number Otherwise, I want, again, the NA function. Copy that across. All right, now these are randomized up here, so we're getting different answers every time. And then I created a chart from those series, insert column, and it's a stacked column chart. Let's bring this up, bring the chart over so you can see it, and we'll scroll up a little bit here. All right, now it was just a matter of going into this series, formatting that and choosing green, fill, solid fill, green, beautiful. It's funny how that changed, isn't it? Uh, and then we'll click on the red series, fill, solid fill, change the color of those to red, click close, take the chart and cover up that uh, fake series and then get rid of the legend and you're good. Let's uh, recalculate here. See that anytime we're above the 0.97. You should also change the scale over here, of course, right? So, format axis, I wasn't smart enough to do this. Uh, the minimum will be, let's say, 0.9. The maximum will be 1. And the major unit, it's really important you put a major unit in there so that way we get the little uh, steps 0.01 and click close. All right, so there's my uh, chart working the way that I want, right? So, wrote that as the uh, column, it goes out to CFO.com. Of course, a lot of people uh, read CFO.com and people always write in. And then Kelly writes in and says, well, why'd you do it that way? Uh, there's a better way to do it. And <laughs> she says, rather than me explain it, here, just watch this video. And I went out and of course, it was one of Mike's videos where he showed an even better, well, a different way of doing it. I said, Mike, we should do this as a dueling podcast. So, Mike, how would you solve this? Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, now I did not know that. In 2010, Control-1 to open up uh, Format Data Elements, and you go to Fill, and sure enough, if you invert, there's two drop-downs for colors. Totally awesome way to solve that. Now, as far as uh, the formula that Mr. Excel used and the one I'm going to use, they're just different and advantages to both. Now, in this case, what's nice about this is if you do the NA here, uh, it shows up as a blank. 
And that way, you have blanks here where you don't want data and blanks here. In essence, the, the column won't have any height. And you can just use a stacked column. That way, this value is represented in the column, but that's just nothing, no height at all. So a stacked column. I'm going to have to use a column and then change the overlap. So I'm going to come over here. Now I got a quality here for the legend for these. And then I'm going to drag this down here. And I'm actually going to create a formula for a label equals. And I want the word quality in double quotes. And then I'm going to say greater than or equal to space end double quote. And then the ampersand shift 7, that right there. That'll give me a label. And so if I change this up here to say 0.95, that label will change. So the legend in the chart will change. Now, that's a proportion there, a decimal. I kind of like that. If you didn't, you could actually use the text function. Text function is great. It could take a value and then format it using custom number format. But this format has to be in double quotes. So I'm going to put 0.00 percentage. That's a custom number format for two decimal uh, percentages. Quality grade that formula will show us as a percentage. Zero, zero. Now, the formula, I'm going to say equals if. This value right here, one cell above, is greater than or equal to our hurdle. And I'm going to lock it going to the side, F4 to lock that column reference. If that's true, what do I want? Well, I want to show this value right here. Otherwise, comma, the value if false, we'll put double quote. That's just Excel's way of saying blank. Close parentheses, and then close, um, drag it over. All right, now I have my. Uh, horizontal uh, labels, my legend, and my values. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1. And that does the, uh, my default chart happens to be a column. right? So that's just the column. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to click on this legend, and I'm going to Control-1, Format Chart Element, and say At Type, Top. Already looking better. But now, see, we have to do an extra step here, right? Because these are the same, and I need to have this one on top. So I'm going to highlight the uh, the red one, the one I want on top, Control-1. Overlap, I'm going to say 100%, and then close. And then there we have it. If I hit the F9 key, we can see that uh, things are changing. If I scroll this down here and change this to 0.85. We can see that everything changes. And if I hit the F9, oh, it looks like they're all. Better go 0.95. All right, uh, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Oh, my, that overlap trick, that is awesome. Of course, now, to make that work, you have to, uh, you were very clever there to make the one that was going to be on top be second. Um, so that's the uh, uh, one caveat, I guess. Uh, very cool way to go. Oh, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.